very much everybody. I'm very nice to see a good turnout here this afternoon and I'm in solidarity regarding these sanctions. Today I speak in my role as the MPNI Disability Functional Officer. I will clearly demonstrate in this what the way the cuts have affected the disabled and certain uh, ways the Tory government has said certain disabilities are not are not entitled to benefits. A disability is any continu continuing condition that restricts everyday activities. There are five main types of disability. There's physical, there's sensual, there's psychiatric, there's neurological, congenitive and intellectual. And because anybody that is disabled, they may suffer from more than one disability. The, D uh, the DWP has said people on mental health, who have mental health issues, are not in, are disabled enough and not entitled to pets. Almost 16,500 people have mental health issues in the United Kingdom. One in five people suffer from mental health issues in Northern Ireland. And one in four who suffer mental health issues in Northern Ireland, it's depression. Mental health was supposed was to become the leading disability in 2020. It has now reached that target and we're not even in halfway through 2017. 121 million people suffer from depression worldwide. Facts taken from the World Health Organization. And there's an increase of doctors in Northern Ireland giving out antidepressants. 33,000 people suffer with a learning disability. There are, these are some of the current statistics, but I will explain how further that the band of sanctions are draconian in every way possible. There's currently the transfer of DLA to PIPs. The stress that put, that, put, that put some people is not very helpful to say the least. But the most hateful and awful thing introduced, the work capability assessment. Unfortunately, it was introduced by New Labour. I condemn it outright and it should never have been introduced. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Conservatives have taken advantage of it in a way to prevent one of the, mo the most vulnerable in society to get what they're entitled to. They state they are for the select few. They're not for the select few, but everyone. Let me tell you here and now, that is nothing further from the truth. Yeah. From what I'm about to say and reveal, we make them out and live up to the name of being the nasty party. What they, along with the Liberal Democrats, took office in 2012, their number one goal was to implement austerity and making sure the people on the bottom rung of the ladder or the front. Now they're in so charge. What they imposed on the most vulnerable in society is not a short of discriminatory and a breach of human rights. Nearly 16,500 disabled people across the UK have been de denied the right to PIPs. Debbie Abrahams brought up the cuts to PIPs yesterday in the House of Commons. But the government put the vote till after the Easter recess, meaning the 40 day line, line will, will be passed and subsequently the, these cuts will be implemented and not be overturned. 40%, 44% of PIPs claimants, when their benefit is reviewed, have their benefit cut or completely stopped. The proportion of claimants who claim PIP that was, that, that was reduced growth from 10% in 2014 to nearly 20% 2016. People on PIPs who lost their benefit after a planned review rose from 13% in 2014 to nearly 25% in 2016. People on PIPs whose benefit increased following a review fell from 23% in 2014 to less than 16% in 2016. Epilepsy sufferers are losing some or all of their benefits on being transferred from DLA to PIP. In January to December 2015, 610 epilepsy claimants had their ward reduced and 1,600 got no ward at all. In January to October 2016, 1,550 had their reward reduced and 4,540 got no ward at all. 
ESA has been cut by £30 a week for new ESA claimants in the work-related activity group. This means people will lose a third of their weekly amount of ESA. Long term, it will take £680 million a year for 450,000 people. Patrick McLaughlin, Conservative Party Chairman, stated that 3.7 billion cuts to disabled will help with the deficit. An aid to Theresa May said PIP should not be for people with mental health issues, but only for really disabled. Damien Green, Secretary of Work and Pensions, is working work related activity in everyone in ESA, including term ill. Failure to engage with local job and benefits office would risk, would risk losing ESA. Conservative MP Philip Davis is actively campaigning for people to be treated as second class citizens. DWP tells benefit assessors to discriminate against people with mental health conditions. A man who was terminally ill was getting sick notes from his GP to the DWP. They secretly told the GP you don't need to send them in anymore. Therefore he lost his benefit and died shortly after. A terminally ill woman was found fit for work by the D so-called DWP. People who are suffering with mental health conditions are being treated fairly. Inequality and deprivation linked to higher suicide risk. Benefit sections have increased the rates of mental health problems. What have I known shows how nasty the Conservatives are and want to discriminate against the disabled when their friends like Philip Green, G4S, Google and Starbucks avoid paying tax. They want disabled into work. Can they answer these two questions? Why is more than half of the disabled people facing bullying and harassment at work? And why are one in five disabled workers illegally denied workplace support? What the disabled people have had to tolerate and put up with is unacceptable and no more. Most of these benefit sections have yet to have a major impact in Northern Ireland. The government has not started imposing bedroom tax on disabled and also with the phasing of universal credit from the 25th of September this year, it will, with a certain degree of certainty, means that Northern Ireland will be more than likely to suffer more than the rest of the United Kingdom I am proud of my disability. We disabled are human beings and deserve to be treated the same as any other human being. We didn't choose to be disabled. We accept it and get on with it. The benefits are needed for the disabled to live an independent life much as possible. Irrespective of your disability, if it affects you in everyday tasks, then you have a disability. 30 to 40,000 people lost no mobility cars, their only form of independence. These assessors are a disgrace, profiting personally at the disabled expense. The government he preys on our Paralympians how wonderful role models they are. They are two-faced and cut disabled benefits. The government should be totally and utterly ashamed of themselves. You're labelling discriminating and breaching human rights. And don't deserve to be in government or fit to hold any public office. I remember former Tony, Tory leader Ian Duncan, Duncan Smith said in his conference speech, the quiet man was turning up the volume. Well listen, I'm turning up the volume. I cannot and will, sit, will, will not sit back and do nothing. The disabled have a very important role in society and, be, and will be retreated with respect, dignity and integrity. Finally, I leave you with this. One in four households will suffer with a disability in their life. Put yourself in their shoes. And a quote from Ban Ki-moon, the former UN Secretary General. Let us work together for a full and equal participation of people with disabilities in an inclusive and sustainable world that embraces humanity in all its diversity. Thank you.